Hi everyone, welcome to the RP Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on General Organic Chemistry, GOC Chemistry Series. This is lecture number 10. This is continuation of uh, Aromaticity Part 2. So this is the lecture number 2 in Aromaticity. Now let's go through the topic. That is the aromaticity. So yesterday we had discussed uh, like uh, aromaticity basic uh, basic definitions as well as the different different uh, anti-aromatic, aromatic, homo-aromatic, homo those type of properties as well as the Huckel's rule and the Craig's rule. Now today we are dealing with uh, like many of different different types of compounds which which shown the like uh, aromaticity character or an aromaticity character or anti-aromaticity character. So based on the their criteria, based on their criteria. Now let's move on to the different different kind of uh, molecules like uh, fulvine or anulines or azulines or polyhydroxy compounds or fused compounds those type of compounds now let's move on to the different different compounds so first of all polyhydroxy sorry like a polycyclic conjugated compounds polycyclic conjugated hydrocarbons simply it is nothing but a polycyclic conjugated hydrocarbons mainly it is a two types so like it is benzenoid structures and another one is non-benzenoid structures. Benzenoid and non-benzenoid structures. Simply benzenoid structure means uh, it having the like benzene type structure. So like a benzenoid with many many cyclics. So now here it is the many cyclic. This is the benzenoid structure. Like a, here also benzene with many number of cycles. So this is also benzenoid structure. So here it is the benzene which having the many number of structure, many number of uh, rings. So which is also benzenoid structure. So simply it is nothing but an aphthalene. Anthracene, like a phenanthracene, phenanthracene. So all are the aromatic. Why? Because here ten electrons, like a fourteen electrons, like a sorry. Here, here it is the like a five ten electrons, fourteen electrons, fourteen electrons. All are like aromatic in nature. Aromatic in nature. So now non benzenoid rings means that is a, not a benzene ring that have that does not having the benzene ring. So it may be possible like these type of compounds. Like a pentaline, this is the pentaline. The, uh, these type of molecules are like a heptalines, like seven member rings, as well as a, like a, this is the naphthalene derivative. Naphthalene with a, another double bond. This is simply it is called as AC naphthalene, like these type of compounds. So another derivative of naphthalene. Okay, so this type of molecule, this is the benzenoid structure, these two are the benzenoid, but this part is extra, that is not a benzene ring. So those type of molecules are simply, it is called as non-benzenoid structures, non-benzenoid structure. So here non-benzenoid structures, so these are the benzenoid structures, this is, this is the simple uh, classification. Now here, this is the like a not aromatic, now it is the like a aromatic in nature, 14 electrons, here aromatic in nature aromatic in nature both are the aromatic in nature so now let's move these these aromaticity was explained by the Craig's rule if you if you want the like a cl clarification please watch the previous video I'll explain the those like a Craig's rule uh, rules okay now let's move on to the other classification so now based on the like double bond orientation it is classified another two types that is nothing but uh, alternative bonds and uh, non alternative bonds alternative conjugation and non-alternative conjugation non-alternative conjugation simply here it is the benzene ring okay now benzene ring it having the like a pi and un, uh, unsaturated double bonds unsaturated bond okay now here in case of benzene rings so let us uh, start with any one of the double bond any one of the center double bond okay so i started with alpha and beta labeling so alpha beta alpha beta alpha beta alpha beta these type of labelings now here uh, let's start with alpha and beta continuation alpha beta alpha beta alpha beta alpha beta so this type of labeling is there okay now after assigning the alpha and beta so if any any type of compound any type of uh, similar terms that is uh, any type of uh, like alphas or betas are not closer to the adjacent are not adjacent positions are not classed with the adjacent position now here alpha beta there is uh, there is no adjacent position like if if alpha alpha is adjacent position those are the non alternative non alternative system non alternative poly conjugated system so if alpha beta so alpha alpha cannot uh, assumed as adjacent positions so or beta beta cannot existed as a adjacent positions so those are the alternative conjugated bonds now here it is the alternative conjugated so it is an example of alternative conjugated bonds 
Now, in case of non-alternative conjugated bonds, uh, here it is the pentaline structure. So, pentaline is the best example. So, now here it is the compound, like a double bond, double bond over there. So, here double bond. Okay, now let's start with uh, alpha beta. Okay. No, this is better way. Double bond, double bond, double bond, double bond. Let's start with alpha, beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beta. So the ascending is uh, like a continuous process. You cannot start uh, like a, somewhere stop over there. So now again continuous, uh, again uh, reverse the uh, ascending of alpha, beta. That is the wrong process. So if you started with alpha, then it, it uh, uh, thoroughly, uh, thoroughly proceed through this similar continuation, similar continuation. Now here alpha, beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beta, like that. Okay. Now in case of this type of alpha, betas, so here alpha, here alpha, these two alphas are adjacent. Two alpha groups, alpha are adjacent. So that's why. So if any any type of alphas or betas are adjacent to each other, then it's said to be non-alternative bonds, non-alternative conjugated systems. Okay. So this is the second classification. Now the final classification is like a different different kind of uh, symmetries. Now let's move on to the final classification. It's not a classification, it's a different different type of kind of uh, molecules. Okay, now let's move on to the final kind of uh, different different kind of molecules. Different kind of molecules. Okay, now here the different kinds. So the first, first kind of molecules are anulines. Now the second kind of molecules are adulines. Now the final kind of molecules Fulvines or fulvalines. Simply it is fulvalines. Okay. Fulvines or fulvalines. Both are different, different. Now I'll explain the, those those nomenclature of the fulvines and fulvalines at the time of a fulvaline discussion. Okay. Now here it is the anulines, adulines, fulvalines. Now let us discuss one by one very clearly. So the first one is anulines. So anulines is nothing but it is a monocyclic, monocyclic polyconjugated systems poly uh, double bonded systems monocyclic poly conjugated systems that means uh, here it is the monocyclic so poly double bond so more than one double bond so here it is the monocyclic it is more than one double bond so here in case of uh, like a uh, eight membered ring monocyclic okay now here it is a uh, monocyclic uh, poly poly conjugated double bond monocyclic uh, poly conjugated double bond so in case of like these type of molecules like it is the 16 aniline okay okay these type of molecules a monocyclic system which having the more number of double bonds those kind of molecules are called as anulines those kind of molecules are called as anulines simply anulines are represented as like an dash and aniline simply it is an aniline an aniline so here n is equal to number of carbons in ring formation or in cyclic ring number of carbons in ring cyclic ring that is nothing but a number of carbon atoms simply it is nothing but number of carbon atoms okay now simply here four carbons are, are there simply it is called as four anuline now six carbons are six anuline ten car eight carbons eight anuline sixteen carbons sixteen anuline like that okay so now n is equal to many of the numbers are there like simply it is started with a 10 12 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, like a 30, these type of 28, 30, these type of molecules are there. Okay. Now, uh, anulines are always uh, uh, even number of even number of carbons are present. Hard number cannot exist. Okay. Among the anulines, like a 26 and 28 are not existed. 26 and 28 are not existed. Okay. Now the remaining annulines are there. Okay. So these are the simple introduction of annulines. Now let's move on to the uh, like uh, 10 annuline, 12 annuline, 14 annuline, those type of molecules, whether it is aromatic or not. Let's move on to the detailed discussion on annulines. Okay, now let's move on to the 10 annuline. 10 annuline. So 10 annuline, here it is having the two types of isomer. One is the like a cis isomer and another one is the trans isomer. 
cis and a trans isomer. So trans structure is very like a simple structure. Okay, now here it is the trans structure. Hydrogen, hydrogen. These two are the trans annular protons. These two are the trans annular protons. Okay, now here cis form is also available. Cis form. So this is the double bond. Okay. Very simple structure, very simple thing for drawing the these type of these type of like structures. Okay, now let's start with the double bond over here. Double bond, double bond, double bond, double bond, like here the double bond. Okay, so five double bond means that ten carbon atoms. So this is the cis annulin, cis ten annulin, cis ten annulin. This is the trans ten annulin. Okay, now in generally, like uh, in case of annulins, if it is a planar molecule, then it's said to be like aromaticity based on the Huckel 4n plus 2 rule. Huckel 4n plus 2 rule, or it is a 4n rule, then it is anti aromatic. Okay, so if it is planar, it existed as like a aromatic or like anti-aromatic based on the number of electrons. If it is not planar, then it's said to be non-aromatic in nature. Then it is non-aromatic compounds. Okay, now here this is the cis compound. In generally, like a C double bond C bond angle is like a 120 degrees. Like it is the sp2 bond angle okay now here in case of a uh, cis 10 annulin which having the like a uh, bond angle almost all 140 degrees 140 degrees that means uh, it's more bond angle strain more strain in the bond angle that it appears as a like a more uh, like a single bond that means it is very elongation due to the like angle strain it is a non-planar mighty that means it is similar to the tetrahedral like tetrahedral shape that's why it is non-planar so if it is non-planar it is non-aromatic compound not an aromatic non-aromatic compound so cis form is not an aromatic so in case of trans uh, trans compound so both the protons are one uh, opposite to each other that means they both are opposite to each other so here trans annular interaction is uh, uh, trans annular interaction is present uh, due to the trans annular interaction molecule becomes non-planar molecule becomes non-planar that's why it is also not aromatic not an aromatic simply it is a non-aromatic compound simply it is nothing but a non-aromatic compound so 10 annulins are non-aromatic both the isomers like cis and trans isomers are non-aromatic now let's move on to the 12 annulin so this is the like a 10 annulin now in case of 12 annulins here it is the 12 annulin Okay, bond, double bond, double bond, double bond, double bond, double bond. Six double bonds, that is nothing but 12 annulins. Okay, now here it is the double bond, double bond, sorry, hydrogen, hydrogen. Four hydrogens are inside, 12 hydrogens are outside. Sorry, 12 annulin means eight hydrogens are outside. Eight protons are outside, four protons are inside. So outside protons are simply, it is called as like peri peri protons, peri peri protons. And now inside are annular protons. Inside protons are called as annular protons. So 12 electron means it follows the like a 4n pi electron system, 4n pi electron that means it is anti-aromatic when it is planar, even it is planar then only it is possible, okay. Now in case of uh, uh, 12 annulins, in case of this type of annulins, here low temperature, temperature is the main, main criteria and the high temperature, low temperature it acts as like a planar moiety. At high temperature, here it is non-planar. Here it is non-planar. Due to the more temperature, the inner proton becomes outer proton. Outer proton becomes the inner proton. Your planarity will be missed. Okay. Then at the higher temperature, planarity will be missed out. Then it is a non-planar molecule. Okay. Now in case of low temperature, it is the planar molecule. So planar molecule 12 pi, 12 pi electrons. That means the like a 4 and pi electron system. So then it's said to be anti-aromatic. Now in case of higher temperature, non-planar. That's why it is not aromatic. Not an aromatic. Okay. So this is the very simple kind of uh, annulin chemistry. This is the 10 annulin. This is the 12 annulin. Now let's move on to the 14 and 16 annulin systems. Okay. Now here are the 10 uh, like a 12 annulin. Another type of 12 annulins are th also there. Like this is the previous year CSIR question. Okay. Double bond, double bond, double bond. Like here. Like a double bond, double bond, double bond. 
six double bonds. That means with twelve electrons. Okay, these type of structures are given. This is also an, a type of twelve aniline. Okay, so six double bonds means twelve twelve electrons. So here they are given in the like a metal. This system which treated with metal now here it creates the like these type of one metal which creates the like a dication like a dianion derivative. Dianion with conjugated. Okay, now here it is the one bond of electron that means it shifted to the negative. Here it is the positive. That positive dating by the like electrons from the metal atom and it creates the another negative another charge. That means one extra pair of electrons are added. So twelve electrons will becomes fourteen electrons. So fourteen electrons it is the planar moiety. Okay, fourteen electrons in case of low temperature the planarity will be av available. So due to the planarity, fourteen electron system it is aromatic in nature. Aromatic in nature, any system like eight electrons, twelve electrons, sixteen electrons, these type of electronic systems, simply eight and twelve electrons are generally they are given, they are susceptible in the questions. Eight and twelve electrons will be treated with metals like lithium, sodium, potassium. Those type of metals will forms the dianion complex. Dianion complex. Those are the aromatic in nature. At low temperature, at low temperature, those are aromatic in nature. So this is the another kind of. Uh, Questions they are susceptible in the like uh, net level competitive exams. Okay, now let's move on to the another examples. Okay, now let's discuss the like 14 electron anulins. Simply it is called as 14 anulin. 14 anulin. So the structure of a 14 anulin like this. Like here. Very simple structure. Okay, this is the like a 14 anulin system. Let's let's uh, draw the double bonds. Like double bond, double bond over here, double bond over here, double bond over here, double bond over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double bonds. That means seven to the fourteen pi electrons. So fourteen carbons are there. That's why very very atoms are fourteen. That's why it is called as a fourteen pi electronic system. So fourteen pi electronic system. That means here it follows the four and plus two electron pi pi electron system. So if it is planar, then it is aromatic. It is non-planar, then it is not aromatic in nature. Not aromatic in nature. Okay. At lower temperature. It is a low temperature as well as a normal temperature. Okay, now 14 electron onwards, it, it becomes a low temperature or non -temp uh, like normal temperature. It is the planar system, like a higher temperature at higher temperature. So, it is the non planar system. It is the non planar system. That means uh, low temperature, the planar molecule it existed as aromatic, uh, like higher temperature, it is the not aromatic in nature. Non aromatic in nature. Are you clear? So here it is the low temperature or normal temperature, it acts as a planar planarity. So the planarity molecules will become uh, like aromatic in nature. Now high temperature, it is a non-planar molecule. That's why it is non-aromatic in nature. Now again, sometimes they are, uh, they are giving the like dehydration reaction on these type of molecule. That means the one of the bond, it forms the like a triple bond. Dehydration means uh, uh, like a removal of hydrogenation. It forms the triple bond. Okay, the remaining molecules are same. But here one of the molecule which forms the, the uh, triple bond, uh, the remaining system will be shared okay so now here triple bond formation also leads to the triple bond formation also leads to the like a planarity whenever a system which forms the triple bond then it is also a planar molecule then it is also a planar molecule after getting the triple bond in one of the one of the unsaturated bond in any type of anulin okay so this is the 14 anulin system now not only 14 anulins 14 pi electron system are also very important for the competitive exams that's why i'll discuss the those kind of 14 electronic systems okay now here it is the 14 electronic system here simply it is the naphthalene Naphthalene derivative. So this is the double bond. Here it is the negative. So this is the get twenty twenty problem. Okay. Now here the triple bond means here it is the like a ten electrons, ten electrons, twelve electrons, fourteen electrons. Fourteen electronic system. It follows the four n plus two pi electron. Then it is the aromatic in nature. This is the get twenty twenty problem. Get twenty twenty. Okay. So this is the like AC naphthalene system. Now again, so like these type of molecules are observed. Like in case of uh, aromaticity, 
ओके ना हियर इट इज दि वन वन लाइक वन एस पी थ्री कार्बन आटम अनदर एस पी थ्री कार्बन आटम सो इफ बोथ आटम्स आर अपर्ड डैरेक्शन देन इट सीम्स टू बी लाइक एरोमैटिक इन प्रीवियस डे लाइक वी आर डिस्कसड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस इट सीम्स टू बी लाइक अ होमो एरोमैटिसिटी ओके इट एक्सिस्टेड एज एरोमैटिक इन नेचर नाउ हियर लाइक दीज टाइप ऑफ मालिक्यूल्स आर देर like one is the upside direction another one is the bottom side so that means it lost their planarity it lost their planarity that's why it is the like a non aromatic in nature non aromatic in nature not aromatic in nature now again some other molecules like this this type of molecules okay now here it is the like a double bond double bond double bond like it is the double bond over here double bond double bond double bond okay now here it is the not a periplanar okay peri peri double bonds can only calculated in hukul hukul calculation okay now here it is the not not hukul pi bonds that's why we cannot calculate these type of molecules these type of uh, pi bonds in aromaticity okay now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 double bond means 14 electron system here it is the eight double bonds are there that's why it is a 16 electron system that's wrong absolutely okay so now here it is the non hukul pi bonds that's why those pi bonded electrons cannot calculated in the aromaticity that's why it is the 14 electron system so this type of a 14 electronic system so here it follows the hukul 4n plus 2 that's why it is the aromaticity that is it is the aromatic in nature aromatic in nature not only this type of molecules like a previous year like a pericyclic reaction they are given in the one type of a pericyclic reaction like here it is the double bond double bond double bond like it is the double bond double bond double bond double bond okay now they are given in the these type of molecules okay now they are given in the like uh, some photolyte or uh, like any type of uh, heating reaction and it creates the and it creates this cycle over here okay now again it forms the double bonds over here okay those type of systems are given now here uh, finally it gives the these type of molecule finally it gives the these type of molecule so those molecule whether it is aromatic or anti aromatic now let's calculate it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 double bonds so that means 14 electrons 14 electron system then the, uh, definitely it is aromatic in nature due to the planarity so here it is the planar molecule so the middle atom it is not a peri peri bond if it is the double bond is there it is aromatic if double bond is absent uh, even though it is aromatic so these type of systems are Are susceptible in the like a uh, CSIR net type of problems as well as a gate type of problem. Now let's move on to the sixteen and eighteen electronic anilines. Okay, now let us discuss the sixteen and eighteen anilines. These are the final. final discussions of our aniline topic 16 aniline and 18 aniline okay now here it is the structure of 16 aniline this is the structure of 16 aniline okay double bond over here double bond double bond double bond double bond double bond like this is the double bond so that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 double bonds 16 electrons 16 electrons okay now here inside four protons are there Like outside, twelve protons are there. Four protons inside, and outside is twelve protons. Okay, at low as well as normal temperature, at low as well as normal temperature, it is the planar moiety. At higher temperature, non-planar. Higher temperature, it is the non-planar. So, sixteen electronic system. That means if it is planar, then it is anti-aromatic. It is not a planar, then it is non-non non, like non-planar. That means not aromatic. Non-planar, absolutely, it is not aromatic. okay so in case of planar it is an anti aromatic system it is planar at anti aromatic so when it is a planar at lower temperature or normal temperature okay so whenever we go through the like a nmr data of the 16 aniline structure so here it is the like a graph now here it is the t0 zero for the tms value okay now here it let's left side 1 2 3 these type of chemical shift of 12 or 14 or that okay so this is the like chemical shift value this is the like a negative chemical shift value okay now in case of uh, anti aromatic systems anti aromatic systems like a uh, anti aromatic uh, so here low temperature it it appears like two types of uh, signals one is the low protons and out, outer proton that is the annular protons and peri peri protons okay now anti aromatic system inside protons that is the low uh, inside protons inside protons like a high 
chemical shift values that is the very downfield downfield like uh, outside photons low chemical shift value low chemical shift value that means uh, like anti aromatic system here inside protons having the higher chemical shift uh, uh, rather than the like outside protons it is the low, lower chemical shift lower chemical shift that means uh, like uh, four protons will appear somewhere here the higher 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 chemical shift value and the 12 protons will appear so like uh, over here okay so here it is the four here it is the 12 approximately 1 is to 3 ratio approximately 1 is to 3 ratio 4 is the like a higher chemical shift value and 12 is the lower chemical shift value so this inside protons having the like a higher chemical shift value due to the paramagnetic anisotropy due to the paramagnetic anisotropy so this paramagnetic anisotropy simply it is called as a paratropy okay so all those things all those uh, terminologies was explained in the like uh, in next video that is the proton and a more in aromatic compounds okay don't don't bother about these terminologies so now it quite opposite uh, aromatic system aromatic system here it is the like uh, inside protons and outside protons okay so inside is the very low chemical shift value outside is the high chemical shift value quite opposite so if you uh, if you remembered one thing uh, another one is very easy okay so that is the aromatic system this is the anti aromatic system now in case of 16 annually at lower normal temperature it acts as anti anti aromatic in nature so at higher temperature it is the non planarity now let's move on to the 18 electronic system that is very interesting one so we will discuss the very clear cut information regarding to the 18 electronic system so sorry not 18 electron that is the 18 annually Okay, now here it is the 18 annually. Eighteen annually in system. Okay, now here it is the double bond. Double bond over here, double bond, double bond, double bond, double bond, like a double bond, double bond, double bond. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9, 9 pi electrons, 9 pi bonds means 18 electrons. That's why it is simply it having the 8 electrons. So inside here it is the 6 protons are inside and 12 protons are outside. Okay. Now why why? Because at lower temperature it acts as a like a planar moiety, a higher temperature it acts as a non-planar moiety. So why? Because so here low temperature or uh, normal temperature, it is planar, high temperature. It is non planar Why? Because okay. Now let us assume. So here it is the my hand. Okay, right hand. Okay. Now uh, if you want to click the uh, snap of my hand, very clearly you will click the uh, camera uh, like uh, any camera will click the my hand photo very clearly. Okay. So now I'll I'll rotate the my hand like this. If you click right now. So it is some somewhat disappeared. Somewhat it cannot give the like uh, that much of clarity. Okay. So whenever it is rotated, the uh, the like a uh, picture of the picture quality is uh, destroyed. That means uh, our instrument cannot click the like as much as uh, previous one of clarity. Okay. So now here, uh, like in case of uh, NMR spectroscopy, so whenever so here it is in lower temperature, the molecules inside protons and outside protons appears like a similar one. But in case of a higher temperature, so here the inside proton becomes outside, outside proton becomes inside. So now like this much of a like a ring flipping takes place, like inside proton becomes outside, outside proton becomes inside. So now uh, at the time, so like a uh, flipping of inside protons into outside, outside protons into uh, like uh, inside at rapid exchange takes place, rapid exchange takes place. At the time, NMR instrument cannot capture those different kind of protons, okay, at the time. NMR spectrum it captured both the protons like inside and outside protons as a single single signal as a single signal that means 18 protons will appear at a single single signal okay now that's why here it gives the two types of system two types of like a uh, NMR diagrams so at a lower temperature and higher temperature this is the at lower temperature higher temperature higher temperature eight, 18 protons will appear like this so here it is the 18 protons but in case of uh, like a lower temperature it is the aromatic system aromatic inside is the low low chemical shift value due to the diatropy okay so now here it appears uh, minus 3 point delta p o 
3.0 like delta, delta ppm value now 9 will appear uh, at the 9 chemical shift value okay now here these are the 12 protons these are the six protons totally it is the h nanoline at lower temperature it gives the two types of peaks at higher temperature it gives the only one due to the rapid interconversion of uh, uh, inside proton becomes outside outside proton becomes the inside this is the very clear cut uh, information regarding to the h nanoline i think it is very clear now let's move on to the like azulines and fulloline compounds Okay, now let's move on to the like a uh, different kind of mitis that is the azulin. Second kind is azulin. We are clear, clear for the like uh, adulines. It is the azulin. Azulin is nothing but uh, like here it is the. So here one is the seven membered ring, another one is this five membered ring. Okay, this is the non benzenoid system. So here it is the like a. Uh, double bond over here double bond double bond double bond double bond five double bonds with the seven and five member ring so this is the like isomer of naphthalene this is an isomer of naphthalene okay at uh, like a uh, azulene at 350 degree centigrade temperature azulene at 350 degree centigrade temperature it gives the naphthalene okay this is the simply uh, isomer of the naphthalene isomer of the naphthalene okay now here it is the 10 electrons simply it is the non-benzenoid system a non-benzenoid system why because here there is no benzene ring again whether it is a, like a alternative double bonds con alternative conjugated system or not alternative conjugated system and absolutely it is a non-alternative conjugated system okay so simply it is a non-alternative non-alternative conjugated system again azulines uh, these azulines having the dipole movement almost all higher dipole movement 0 0.8 some of the textbooks they are given in the one dipole movement but exact value is 0 0.8 dipole movement again here the azulene very blue intense in color very thick blue color blue intense blue in color intense blue in color okay so these are the characteristics of the azulene so first of all, whether it is aromatic or not aromatic, that is the matter, okay. So now let's move on to the aromaticity of uh, azulene. So this is the like a seven membered ring. So this is the like a five membered ring. So double bond, double bond, double bond, like a double bond, double bond, okay. Now here totally five double bonds, that means the 10 pi electrons, which having the like a 4n plus 2 pi electronic system, which obeys the like a 4n plus 2 pi electronic system of Rukul. So all are sp2. All are the, like a uh, like it forms the it participated in the delocalization. That's why it is the planar moiety. So finally, it is aromatic. Finally, it is aromatic. Uh, this is the like uh, aromatic of aromatic nature of azulene. Aromatic nature of azulene. Again, uh, many of the many of the time it is the more dipole movement. Why? Because here it existed as a like a ionic form. Okay. Now here, I, I like a like a, I existence of ionic form due to the the resonating structure okay now here it is the double bond this is this seven member ring so this is the five member ring. so in case of resonance here the negative here the positive okay now double bond over here like double bond double bond double bond so here four double bonds one negative one one positive charge this is the resonating structure of original azulene okay now here it, it existed as ionic form that's why it having the like more dipole movement more dipole moment this is the like azulene original structure okay now here simply it is represented as like this okay here it is the positive charge here it is the negative charge okay negative charge species readily undergoes the electrophilic substitution reaction now the many of the competitive exams they are the suspected the questions like this like in case of azulene system so either seven member ring or five member ring which one is readily Radially reacts with a uh, electrophilic substitution reaction. Absolutely five number ring. Why? Because here five number ring it having the like a negative charge. That's why it is radially reacts with a uh, electrophile. It forms the like uh, it it undergoes the electrophilic substitution reaction. Electrophilic uh, substitution reaction of the five number ring. Why? Because it is the negatively charged species. It gives the negatively charged species. Like for example, here it is the like indole moiety. Indole moiety. Okay. Now here, how many atoms are there? Okay, in case of like benzene, here six carbon atoms, so six electrons, six carbons, six electrons. In case of indole, so here it is the six electrons, but five atoms, five atoms, 
5 atoms and 6 electrons. That means here it is the electronically rich compound. So that's why it is readily undergoes the electrophilic substitution reaction. Okay. So now here it substituted the any one of the electrophile. Okay. So that much of reactions takes place. Why? Because here it is the more electronically rich compound. So this is the overall idea about the adjuline. Now let's move on to the fulvolines and fulvines. Okay, now let's move on to the full means. Okay, now here, so this is the double bond, a ring system, which is having the double bond. Okay, so inside rings are called, inside double bonds are called endo double bonds, outside double bonds are called exo double bonds. Exo double bonded conjugated systems are called full means. Exo double bond conjugated systems are called full means. Simply here, it is the system is the conjugated system exo double bond so here it is the full wings like here it is the full wings so these type of molecules are called full wings okay now here in case of a, like a full wings so these type of exos exocyclic double bonds uh, both are connected with a similar type of rings or different kind of rings. So simply fulvolines are similar type of rings. Okay. So one of the double bond, exocyclic double bond connected the two rings, then it is called as fulvolines. Then it is called as fulvolines. Okay. Now, however, the like a uh, reson the aromaticity of a fulvolines cannot explained by the like any experimental method as well as uh, like a uh, quantitative analysis, like a uh, like a qualitative, not the quantitative, qualitative analysis. Okay. Now, why? Because here either the stability model or a, in the form of like any instrumental model so it cannot explain it cannot explain by the their aromaticity so that's why why because so if one one system okay now the polarization of a full beans will use this type of resonating structure positive and negative positive and negative okay after the polarization one system is aromatic and another system is more anti-aromatic so anti-aromatic compounds which, which destabilizes the system that's why the stability of a, the aromaticity stability of a fulvolines cannot explain by any experimental method any experimental method so that's why one is the aromatic ring another one is the anti-aromatic ring so that's why those type of molecules are simply it is represented as a not aromatic okay if both rings are aromatic then say it will be aromatic so one if one any one of the ring is non anti aromatic then it is the non aromatic system then it is the non aromatic system okay now here uh, the like uh, let's move on to the different different kinds of uh, fulvolines here it is the tanta fulvoline tanta fulvoline so this is the ion ionization form that means here it is the negative charge here it is the positive charge so the five member ring with the negative charge is aromatic five member ring with positive charge is anti aromatic so due to the anti aromaticity it is the destabilizes the ring okay now in case of like a seven member rings are also the same okay double one double one double one double one double one double one okay now here it is the like a ionization form positive and negative so positive is the aromatic Negative is the anti-aromatic. Negative is the anti-aromatic. Anti-aromatic system. It stabilizes the. It destabilizes the molecule. It destabilizes the molecule. That is the stability of uh, aromaticity. Now again, uh, one one three-membered ring and uh, one five-membered ring is there. Simply, it is called as a tripentafulvolene. Tripentafulvolene. Simply, it is known as a calicilon. Calison. Okay. So these type of calison molecules, uh, which having the like a higher polarity which is shown the higher polarity as well as high dipole movement okay it is also like a, a full in mighty but it's shown the like higher polarity high dipole movement high stability why because okay now here it is the two types of uh, like a two types of ionization takes place so one is the this is the a type this is the b type now the a type which gives the negative charge at the uh, five member ring end now positive charge at the three member ring end. Okay, at the end of three member ring. So now the B type of resonating structure will use the like a negative charge at the three member ring, or positive charge at the four member, five member ring. Here it is the anti aromatic. Here it is the anti aromatic. So these type of ionization will leads to the destabilization. 
so that's why this is not perfect structure for the like uh, calcium molecule okay now here it is the three member ring with positive it is aromatic five member ring negative with aromatic negative is aromatic so here the both the rings are stabilized by the its aromatic property that's why it is the more stable molecule that's why it is the more stable molecule that's why here it is the more polar like a more dipole moment more dipole moment so this is the like a tri pentafluorin molecule like in similarly like a hepta pentafluorin molecule simply penta hepta fluorin molecule so this is the hepta penta fluorin molecule so this is the like a ionization form so two forms are available so one is the major one is the stable so here it is the tropelium cation is a stable that is the aromatic now here cyclopenta dienyl anion it is also aromatic here here it is also like a high polar and a high dipole moment high stability dipole moment high stability so this system it said to be aromatic like this system also it said to be aromatic this is also an aromatic structure so they, they are suscepted this, well, like uh, these type of questions they are given the, these type of two resonating structures among the two which is more stable why well, because so the stability was given by the aromatic compounds so here both are aromatic that's why it is more stable so here both are anti-aromatic that's why it is very very least stable than the normal compound normal compound so these are the like a uh, concept of a full valence now so this is the full valence this is the like full wing so here it forms this type of molecule okay now here it is the positive over there negative over there positive is the aromatic compound aromatic compound now let us discuss the full wings okay now here is full wings so this is the like a five member ring or seven or three member ring doesn't matter so this is the full wings okay the degree of uh, aromaticity degree of aromaticity of full veins full veins not the full veins okay full veins uh, depends upon nature of substituent uh, nature of substituent at exocyclic double bond at exocyclic double bond okay now here the full valine having the different different kind of uh, different different kind of uh, substituents that is the electron donating groups so this is the normal groups that is the normal is nothing but hydrogens here it is the electron withdrawing groups here it is the electron withdrawing groups okay donating groups which creates the more electron density that's why it is more electronically rich compound that's why it is the like more stable donating groups which increases the degree of aromaticity of full veins withdrawing groups which decreases the degree of aromaticity of full veins that's why from top to bottom from like left to right the degree of aromaticity in decreases the degree of aromaticity decreases here it is the strong aromatic in nature so here it is the weak aromatic Weak aromatic compounds. Okay, this is the full wing chemistry, full wing as well as full wing chemistry. Now, finally, let's discuss the like allotropes of uh, carbon atoms. Allotropes of carbon atoms. Okay, now here it is the carbon allotropes. Carbon allotropes. Okay, so here the carbon allotropes are several types of allotropes are there, but we are discussing very uh, few compounds. So this is the diamond, sp3, graphite, sp2, fullerenes, fullerenes. Okay, so diamond is the not aromatic system, why? Because it is the sp3 atom. So this is the non-aromatic. Okay, now graphite is the sp2, which having the like benzene type structure. That's why it is aromatic in nature. That's why it is aromatic in nature. So fullerenes, not only C16 fullerene, C72, like a C80, those type of fullerenes are aromatic. Okay, so these fullerenes are also aromatic in nature. Okay, even though it is a graphite and fullerenes are aromatic, but they they are they both given the like electrophilic addition reactions. So this is the interesting point. So aromatic compounds cannot use the addition addition reactions, but these two are given the like electrophilic addition reactions. Electrophilic addition reaction. Now many of the students that suffered with uh, C60, which having the like a fullerene type of structure, 
or Buckminster Fullerin are simply is called as a saccharine or soccer football like model. Okay, so here it having the like a soccer football type model that means which contains a six and a uh, five member rings that means hexagons and pentagons. Okay, now C60 Fullerin which having the like a 12 pentagons that means five member rings and 20 hexagons. 20 exograms okay 26 member rings and 12 5 member rings are observed in case of c60 fullerene c60 fullerene okay now the conversions diamond to graphite conversion diamond to graphite that means uh, like a non aromatic system to aromatic so here um, low stability molecule to higher stability molecule that leads to the like energy release delta h is a negative then it is the exothermic reaction so the, like a graphite to diamond that means a uh, Aromatic system to non aromatic system, aromatic to non aromatic. So, this is the delta H is equal to positive, that is the endothermic reaction, that is endothermic reaction. Okay, so this is the a very few important points regarding to the allotropes of carbon atoms. Okay. okay, that's all for this video, guys. This contains very basic concept of full beans as well as full beans as well as uh, LNs. Sorry not the anulines and uh, eguline moieties, eguline moieties and uh, again the allotropes of carbon atoms. I think if this is not end for the aromaticity video, so now in next videos I I'll, I'll I have to cover the like uh, resonance energies of different different types of aromatic uh, like uh, heterocyclic aromatic compounds that means uh, heterocyclics aromaticity in heterocyclics as well as proton and morine aromaticity two videos are available in the next uh, next few days okay i will upload the uh, those two videos uh, either tomorrow or day after tomorrow okay guys thank you so much for watching